All right, I'm not going to put it down terribly tight, but it's down nice and tight. If you had a couple of screws in this panel and you weren't sure whether you were following the ridge or your building was out of square, it, it becomes very obvious once you set the next panel or the panel after that. So it doesn't hurt you to only put enough screws in here to hold it in place, continue to add more panels, make sure that the panels are flush top and bottom because this is important. We want a nice flush straight line on top and bottom. Nail up your spine joint, keep that completely fastened together, and then if we need to, take the entire plane and pivot it up or down, we can do it with the ratchet strap, with the crane still hooked, and with this as our pivot point. Yeah. And now you can adjust your entire roof plane so that you are in line with the ridge. Nice. And staying straight. Now what that may mean is that I'm six inches overhang up here and five and three quarters over here. Let the soffit guy here. figure that Let out. Let the soffit guy and you know about it. And who cares? It's not a big deal. How was the soffit detail again that you said was a much faster way to finish it? Was this one actually cut? No. What we were worried about was that chunky overhang look. So in this case we have a square panel which is easier to, um, it's less fabrication. The lumber that goes in here is just a piece of 2 by 8 as opposed to a 2 by 10 that now has to be beveled twice. All right, And here's the bigger issue. Remember we talked about the ridge being straight and true and foamed and sealed and the most important joint. If you have a plum cut eave right here and you've got lumber that is your subfascia and your cornice crew guy comes along and it's not perfectly straight, they're going to complain. And now because your panels if your panels are, are not, if they're sawtooth because your building was out of square, each of your panels start sliding down and now all of a sudden your lumber, your plumb lumber, isn't straight, it messes up the corn sky. The, the, the fascia material isn't going to be perfectly straight. It's very difficult to get a really long eave line with big panels and have your eave perfectly straight. So if we go to a detail like this and we put just regular old square 2 by 8s in it and then we put blocking to a string line that runs the whole eave of the building, we can take our blocking and move it up or down in a triangular block and get right to the string line and it's perfectly straight. So when you're setting this panel, I'm not worried about this being flush down here, I'm worried about what my joint of the ridge looks like. And that's a lot more important.